again, Hannah and Jake. I'm sorry to have you on the ground, but we're talking wheels this time. So in order to show uh, the product, we're going to have to uh, get you there. I apologize, but it looks like we're having a lot of fun. So I think we're doing all right. <laughs> And again, very excited about this particular product because I recently had to take this harp out and it was a little bit of a pain without any assistance. Tell us about harp wheels and how is that helpful for us? They are wheels for your harp. Imagine that. It basically turns your harp into a harp dolly without using an entire dolly that you have to store and find a corner to put it for, put it in at your gig or your... Christmas party, wherever you're going. You can put them on the harp, both just the harp itself, and you can also put it um, on, for our particular bags, you can slide the harp reels in the bottom of the bag. But even if you don't own a music maker harp, there are ways, because there are bungee cords in order to work on various kinds of instruments. And generally speaking, how do you affix the wheels onto the harp? What is the uh, mechanism that makes that magic happen? The basic way to install them, I mean, the first thing is you wanna make sure that the width of the, the harp fits on the paddle here. So you don't want the, the paddle to be narrower than where the feet are, because you want the feet to be resting on this paddle. And then uh, basically all of them get installed with running the strap underneath the feet uh, and then between the string and the pillar here uh, and then these two click together and tighten um, and that basically pulls the harp up against into the corner of uh, the corner right here and then that's what uh, holds it so when you pull it back and all all the weight of the heart goes in the corner here so it's not on the flap so it's uh, you don't have to worry about the the weight of the harp and there's also straps in the back that you can wrap around feet too that uh, these do less these these I would just call more and like rest assured it just make, it doesn't do so much but it just kind of makes the heart feel a little bit more stable on there but it uh, um, really most of the work is done by this right here um, and it's most of the time sufficient. When I'm at Somerset, I, I have, I've tried almost every harp under the sun there, and i am been able pretty much to make every harp work. The tough ones are the ones that have the really tall legs. Uh, some of the dusty strings have those, uh, the tall legs, and sometimes we have to use an extra long strap to pull up to, to get in between the pillar and the strings. Um, and then it, th that's where the back, this back strap is helpful for the tall leg ones because uh, we'll wrap the straps around the legs and click it and kind of help stabilize it. It's really, uh, the limiting factor is kind of the width. Uh, I've had to make some custom ones for harps that are pretty wide there. Uh, the, other, the other more difficult ones are the ones that are really narrow harps. Those can be a little bit more difficult to uh, uh, strap, but I've, I've managed to pretty much make them work on uh, any of the harps. So how do we determine what size we need? Usually the feet are widest in the front here most of the time, but find this uh, point here and it needs, those feet need to sit on there. Could The paddle could be a little bit narrower than these feet right here. So uh, these feet are about 16 inches right here. And, and uh, this is 16 inches wide right here. This is our medium set. And the 13 fits here. So actually the 13 inch would still work on these two because uh, the feet would still be resting on it. The feet would be overhanging a little bit. Uh, so that worked. So some people buy a set of wheels for more than one harp. They might end up buying a paddle that's wider uh, and then it'll fit the widest one and then the smaller ones can still fit on there. Um, and the, the harps do have brakes, which is- I was gonna important. say, cause uh, I have two young kids. <laughs> <laughs> and that could be a potentially a very dangerous thing if my son discovered that uh, the harps are on wheels. <laughs> yeah, so both, each wheel has just a very simple brake over each that you just flip up and secure and that's not going anywhere. And then you can play it. Yeah, and you can play it. You can just tip it back and, it won't roll and it's yet. not going to roll. Yeah, we saw a lot of these at the harp conference in Somerset, and you'll see everybody walking around with them at the conference going from class to class because they can just strap it onto the wheels. They can bring it to the class, put the brakes on, play, take the brakes off, and then roll it to the next class. No so. harp case. So handy. 
And I also like that you can just put the bag on it. Like if you went to a conference, then you need to store your harp overnight. You put the bag on, you get your um, gig bag over top, and then it's ready to go the next day. You don't have to. It's really handy. The music there that really like them going from room to room. So mm -hmm. any precaution on using the heart wheels that maybe we need to watch out for? They do come with felt pads that um, we don't put them on here at the shop, but uh, for when you get it, you know, you place the felt pads where your feet are going to rest just to, to uh, make sure that uh, nothing gets scratched. Um, I, you know, run through here, I try to be a little bit careful, not, you know, with the plastic, the plastic uh, button, just, uh, I keep that away from the wood so that it's just the strap itself touching wood uh, that the, this plastic, uh, this plastic right here, I try to make sure that's clipped where it's not touching wood. Um, yeah, and I would say as someone who has used them, like, <laughs> make sure you put both brakes up. Like, <laughs> If you just put one up, you find the harp is suddenly like twisting on you a little bit because you know it's pulling away on the one wheel that's still functioning. Um, it's kind of silly, but you know it's it's easy to just reach down and do one and not remember the other one. Mm -hmm. Do we need to do any maintenance work on the heart wheel to keep them wheeling smoothly? And I, I not really, mostly just uh, keeping them storing them safe. Uh, you know, not to leave it in a damp place because they are made of wood. So, um, you know, to, to store them like you would your instrument and, um, you know, maybe the brakes might come loose over time, possibly. I, I, I've had to tighten some of those down a little bit and that's just with a basic wrench. And they fit with all your gig bags, right? Yeah, ours, yeah. Our gig bags are specifically designed to take them, but, uh, if you want to use them with other gig bags, I have helped people set up kind of bungee cord like systems where they go on one strap and holds to another and it it uh, it's uh, it, it will work if you if if you put a little thought into it but um, or some people have sewed you know on their own cases uh, a spot for it as mm -hmm. well, but our cases definitely come with that convenience that's mm -hmm. really nice. So. Yeah, it looks really it looks very easy um, the way that you are putting it on when you were setting up. I, I really think that's, again, going back, Hannah, to your point of transportation. We don't think about how to take our hearts around until we have to, and then we're like, why did I not think of this? <laughs> so thank you. And if we have questions about whether or not the wheels are gonna fit our heart, I presume we can give you a shout. Yeah, call or email. Yeah, we, we, we get questions about them all the time and it feels like we've answered all of them. <laughs> Because yeah, yeah it, there's yeah. a lot of uh, yeah, a lot of questions about will this fit or um, or a lot of questions you've been asking. So yeah, and where can we purchase a set of these hot wheels? On our website, uh, um, yeah, Harp Kit, or it's probably just do a Google search, Music Makers uh, Harp Wheels. Yeah, they'll pop up. Awesome! Thank you very much. Yeah, yeah thank you, thank Victoria. You, Victoria.